Hey everybody, it is Jesse from the Tasty Team, and today I'm gonna to be making four famous celebrity turkey recipes to see which one is actually the best. On today's lineup, we got recipes from Guy Fieri, Alton Brown, Martha Stewart, and Aisha Curry. We measured out all the ingredients, read the recipes completely to make sure everything is fair, and I got three of my friends to taste them in a blind taste test. So, which celebrity has the best turkey recipe? Let's find out. First up is Guy Fieri. He starts by making a brine for his turkey by combining water, salt, bay leaves, garlic, black peppercorns, red pepper flakes, and agave to sweeten it. Stir that all up so the agave is nice and combined and pop down the heat. You want the salt to be completely dissolved. Once heated, we're gonna add a bit more water to cool it down super fast. And we're gonna take it off the heat. Pop your turkey right in the brine, and Guy Fieri's brine didn't quite make enough to cover it, so we made a few more batches just to keep things fair, poured it over. If it starts floating up, weigh it down at the plate, and pop in the fridge. The next day, heat some oil in a pan, and you're gonna add diced peppers, add garlic, cilantro, and green onions, and cook it just until wilted. Add ground cumin, season it up with a bit of salt and black pepper, and add lime zest, as well as lime juice. Then, at the very end, we're gonna deglaze with tequila, because this is Guy Fieri after all. Take it off the heat, transfer it to a plate, and spread it nice and thin to cool it off super fast. Bring back your turkey or brine, dry it off, and season it with salt and pepper. Prop the turkey up in a bowl just to make things easier, and use your hand to get underneath the skin. Make sure you don't rip it, so go nice and slow. Stuff it with that green mixture you just made, trying to get as even as possible. Bring in a roasting tray, put the turkey right on it, and stuff it with onions, limes, and some more cilantro. Tie the legs together just so it roasts nice and even, tuck those wings under, and roast it. There you have it, Guy Fieri's Mean Green Turkey Machine. Very interesting. It immediately has a super dark skin, which makes it seem like it'll taste really good. But I don't know what the green stuff is kind of around the edges. I'm gonna have some of the skin because, hi, that's where the best part is. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with that. That's delicious. Super juicy for white meat. This is pretty good. Mm. It is the white part, so. It's a little bit drier, but... It's definitely not what I would consider like a, a regular turkey, but the winner is definitely the skin. The skin is very tasty. It's just enough. There's not an overwhelming amount of seasoning, of crazy flavors. It's just like, let's bring the best out of this turkey. You already died for us. Might as well celebrate it, cooking it right. I like it. Next up is Alton Brown. Just like Guy, he starts with the brine, this time using veg stock, and a lot of veg stock this time. To that, you're gonna add salt, black pepper, allspice, candied ginger, and brown sugar. Mix that up, and pop it on the heat so it all dissolves. Take it off, and to this, you're gonna add some ice water. Take your turkey and put it right in, and weigh it down with the plate if it starts to float up. This one made enough brine, so in the fridge it goes. The next day, combine apples, onions, a cinnamon stick, and some water in a glass bowl and pop it in the microwave. Once that's steamy, bring in your turkey, some aromatics, some oil. If there's plastic bits, just remove those from the cavity and stuff the cavity with those aromatics. Add fresh herbs, use as rosemary and sage, and coat the whole thing in oil. This will help it brown. Tuck those wings under, tie the legs, and into the oven it goes. There you have it. Alta Brown's Golden Turkey. Thank you, you're so kind. It looks super traditional. I like the color of the skin. Turkey. I gotta say, just from the eye, the breast is looking a little dry. This is like my mom made this, there's nothing to it. I'm sorry, mom, you know my cooking skills kind of suck. It tastes like very 50s, southern, everybody's eating around the table. Not my favorite flavor, we're up the bout. You know, someone just like threw the turkey in the oven and hoped for the best. This white meat is definitely drier. Very dry. 
come to appreciate the simplicity of this in that juicier part. Very, I would say, conservatively seasoned. I oddly think this one has a little bit more flavor than the last one, just because I know it's like trying to be a turkey and not trying to be something else. Up next is Martha Stewart. She starts by combining white wine and a ton of melted butter in a large bowl. Mix that up and take a large square piece of cheesecloth and soak it in this buttery mixture. Push that to the side and bring in your turkey. Season the turkey inside and out with salt and black pepper. This turkey has a little rip in the skin, so don't fault Martha on that. Take some butter and rub it over the whole entire thing. Season it once more with salt and pepper. Tie the legs together so it roasts nice and even. And bring back that buttery cheesecloth. We're gonna drape this right over it. This is Martha's hack for making the skin nice and crispy and brown. Make sure it's all over and pop it in the oven. There you have it, Martha Stewart's classic turkey. Yum. All right, holy. I got what looks to be some pepper flakes in the skin. Oh, I definitely like the skin on this one. What's up with that? The bland. <laughs> no bum, no bum. This one's a little drier. Like, I'm struggling to chew it. And I'm just not getting anything out of it. It's just nothing, nothing, okay? Kind of wish there was a little bit more. It has a lot of broth on it or something. I mean, Turkey breast is notoriously dry, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to put it on the chef. I feel the grease from the poor animal, but not even salt. And I immediately don't really want to eat the dark meat because it definitely looks a lot drier. Like, come on, guys. The bird deserves some salt. It's definitely very plain. I'd say I'm not a fan of this one. Last but not least is Aisha Curry. She starts by making compound butter out of softened butter, garlic, shallots, green onions, cloves, pepper, thyme, allspice, and salt. Blitz that all together until it's a bit smooth but still chunky, and take it off. Bring in a turkey, separate the skin from the turkey, trying not to rip it. Put in some of that butter you just made and smooth it out all around. Use the remaining butter to spread all over the turkey, which sounds easy, but we learned is pretty hard. I mean, the turkey's wet and cold, and the butter is room temperature, so this proved a bit challenging, but we got there with a little help. Anyways, stuff the cavity with anise, limes, thyme, and garlic. Season the whole thing with a bit of salt, tie the legs together so it roasts even, and fill the roasting pan with broth and soy sauce. Pop in the oven, and that's it, Aisha Curry's Jerk Turkey. All right, last one. This one looks good. This looks like a classic turkey. Ooh, this already smells different. This one looks promising. Garlicky, ooh, okay. Ooh, got a little surprise under the skin there. Some color, color usually equals flavor. I feel like I wanna eat this with like pho. Ooh, it's something sweet in here. Oh, that's nice. Definitely saltier. Almost like a jerk chicken taste. Whatever you guys did with the garlic and the honey, which may not even exist in there, mm, is being absorbed by the meat. The juiciest part is just like bathing this. I've been doing it wrong the whole time. I gotta season mine like this. This is nice. It feels like a very plain, just a slightly over salted turkey. Best one I've tried so far today. So, who is the best turkey recipe? Let's find out. My favorite is number two because I feel like it was an extremely classic turkey that I could do a lot with leftovers. I could mix it up with mashed potatoes and sweet potatoes and green beans all on my Thanksgiving plate. I don't necessarily need to eat it alone. Number four is absolutely my favorite because it managed to bring some kind of sweetness and the flavor of garlic I think was there, yet it was simple enough for me to enjoy the meat, appreciate the, the juiciness, the softness, the beautiful texture of this turkey meat. It was just amazing. It was perfection. Yeah, number four is definitely the my favorite one that I've tried out of all of them. Uh, I gotta say because, like I said, that, that jerky taste that I have, kind of like a jerk chicken, like a caribbean -y taste, it was um, delicious and, and I haven't really ever tried turkey like that before. So there you have it. Aisha Curry has the best turkey recipe. Which recipe should we test next? Let us know in the comments. Oh, yes!